Oh, freaking right. Let's do the video that I've been putting off for a very, very long time. And I'm just going to be doing some daily stuff while we're going on because it is nine o'clock at night. And this is probably one of the first times ever since I started playing Wotive that I have just not done my dailies until 9 p.m. The only other time that this has ever happened to me is uh, when would have kind of or my phone broke or i couldn't have phone problems and just couldn't like play like me skipping out on doing dailies every morning is a very very rare thing but this morning i figured i just don't really care that much and oh my i just noticed my uh screen is like yes i have almost no lapis i tried for old doa because she's a ice baked tank I like ice and water units. I like kind of water magic units because of the new version of or, or the new water veritas unit, blah, 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 blah. I, I was motivated to try for an ice tank and I got hose. So has that improved my mood? No. Has the fact that I have been so happy with another video game recently mean meant that I am more bitter towards motive motive and everything about it maybe <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i have really had a great week off uh playing ff7 and because it's just one of my favorite games of all time i love it to death and rebirth for me no i don't want to get into anything about it because i'm still playing it uh and doing just a ton of shit in it but man just oh man I'd probably do a video about that or a full playthrough, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. As just one of the biggest FF7 enjoyers ever, yes. But it's been two minutes. All right. Wotive is not healthy. I have been trying to make this video since January. And every time I get it done and finished in a way that I feel okay with, I never release this video because... Every time I'm worried about the people who are going to be, oh, you're just being a doomsayer. Because if you bring anything up about this shit, you're a doomsayer. And if you bring anything good up about it, you're like just propagating the the potential. Not very true. Because Wotub is not in a good state. It hasn't been in a good state for a while, and you can tell that. The, the push to make VCs more expensive, the push to make Guild War more expensive, have been met on the JP side and the global side after they've heard about it as being not positive things towards the games that people are excited about. Nobody saw vision cards essentially getting double their pity and said, oh boy, and making the star system useless for VCs. Nobody said, oh boy, that's what I wanted for this game. I really wanted things to get better. Ever since the fourth anniversary, as a matter of fact, like, even updates that were planned and announced at the fourth anniversary, like choosing your trust mastery ability, have been pushed way down the road. And you look at the producer letters for JP, and they are nothing burgers. They are literally nothing burgers of just, we we promise blah, blah, blah. Here's a very, very vague outline. There's no quality of life's that are really major or anything planned. It's all this general in the future stuff. And oh yeah, check out the stage musical, which who the fuck asked for that? Nobody. Or maybe there's two people. But point being, Wotiv is not looking like it's in a good state. And there's a ton of stuff. Decisions to push people and the spending more and more money and becoming more and more evident on JP. With all of VCs and all of that, and an increased character um, schedule as well, where we even got like one or two characters seemingly very fast. And that's concerning. The fact that producer letters just really aren't saying much of anything is concerning. The fact that updates are being pushed out that are not ready, like the Guild War Reserve system, is 
well, actually, that's business as usual. J <laughs> what if pushing out updates that break shit is almost as common as days that end in Y? Almost. But you look at the financial data for the last month and recent months, and JP is not even hitting a million anymore, which... <laughs> I mean, I think the numbers for last month were about 700,000, and for the month before... And for global was about 300,000. And those numbers are not terrible. But depending on what the overhead cost is, royalty fees, or, or licensing fees with Square Enix, it, that number may not be as big. And then you throw in de like development costs uh, for paying everybody who's working on this game. And you gotta kind of wonder, is Wotiv just getting very, very close to EOSing? Because... There really isn't much. JP, like, you look at general, like, even on my videos uh, and other people's videos, it feels like the number of viewers, the number of people interested in motive keeps going down, 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 and at a steady number, and not many people are playing it or talking about it anymore. My guild, for example, is just kind of dead. There really isn't anybody playing, and yeah, there was a spike around the time uh, in Arena, but that has died off pretty hard, where now very little effort will get you into top 5k. And <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't really know what to say other that's on the encouraging side, because you look at the restructuring, that to me is more about cutting costs. It's more about removing redundancy and just streamlining shit because there's isn't going to be that much effort put in anymore even like the new over and on global felt very very phoned in regardless of people liking him or not because of his design or his kit he didn't feel like a unit that was coming out in the fourth year of this game he felt like a unit that was coming out earlier and i wonder if that's just because he was designed earlier and then people just said nah it doesn't matter don't don't bother Updating or whatever, we've accelerated other characters to make them more appealing. Whatever, just release it because it's done. And I, I, I don't know. It's speculation on my part because I doubt anybody on the actual dev team has much reason to be, or even could be, incredibly honest. But yeah, like the number of live streams feels down. Uh, it just feels pretty scant, and to that extent, this video is more of just a warning, not a boy oh boy I've heard something, the game's ending in a month, just stop right now, it's not that, but you should be incredibly cautious if we were putting like just a warning. This is the, at this point, Wotiv has done too much damage to itself in terms of its reputation with other players. And there's just way too much other shit right now that is insanely good. There are so many RPGs that have come out already this year, and we haven't even gotten into the rest of the stuff that it, it's kind of just like, wow, do, do we really do I need Wodo? Probably not. Probably could just play all these other great games that are out there. Anyway. Yeah, I'm almost 69-69. Uh, it, it's one of those things of... I, I think it's more just I'm trying to just say to people out there who are still playing or are still interested in the game, and that's fine. But be cautious about exactly how much time, energy, and especially money you want to put into the game at this rate, because it seems like the numbers and the figures are kind of written on the wall. Like, updates just don't feel that monumental anymore. What is being pushed out is very, very, we're trying to get as much money as possible. We're selling characters on JP, which we've never done before. And yeah, it will definitely seem more appealing to try and get keep those whales spending what they can. But I don't know. Uh, for me, I think that I could see Woda not lasting one more year, depending on also what decisions the team continues to make. 
If they keep trying to push the guild re reserve, people are going to be pissed off. If there's anything stupid at the kind of May when we get our usual half anniversary or global anniversary, or whatever the fuck they're doing this year, if they decide to do something stupid there, uh, that will be incredibly damaging. And that kind of brings me to the thing I want to end talking about, which is the next collaboration. The next, like right now on JP, it's Final Fantasy 13. Bang has been pretty damn underwhelming uh, for a character that most people have been wanting. Uh, or a bit, or at least people were pretty interested because Fang is awesome and cool. 13 is awesome and cool, but <laughs> I digress. The game that has come out recently is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And re yeah, <clears throat> Seven is one of those things that if Wotiv was in a bad, <clears throat> bad, 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 super bad, desperate Final uh, State, uh, they would probably do a seven collaboration to try and see if there even is the possibility. Because if seven can't really drum up a lot of interest at this point, not much else can because they can't figure out the tactics is what they should probably do. That's what this game was kind of supposed to be uh, for a lot of people when the game started. Anyway, but I think that Rebirth is going to be a absolute train wreck of a collaboration if they do it for one thing it's potentially just not going to have the character that everybody wants and that's different for some people some people are going to want zach and some people are going to want vincent and i think they're going to try and split it and just do like a two character collaboration and like half ass it a lot which is not the way to go but that's what they're probably going to do because the dev I'm the amount of time it takes apparently to get characters out and made and proofed is just too high. So I would say that it, it's almost certainly just going to be a two character collaboration, maybe three, if we're just insane, if they've just gone off the deep end and are shoving stuff out the door, maybe three or four. But the biggest problem that's going to piss off the community is the orbs because they are going to do the exact same shit that they've done before. FF7 Remake is four characters. Integrate is Sephiroth and Yuffie. And Rebirth is going to be whatever characters they shove out the door this time, meaning that your orbs from the other two Final Fantasy 7s don't matter jack shit. What they should do, they should just combine all of the FF7 orbs together and say these are FF7 characters. But they won't do that because they're just freaking desperate for cash and money and whatever they can squeeze out of their player base at this point is exactly what they're hoping for. So yeah, I hate to be a lot of a naysayer about where I think the game's health is, but I, I, I honestly do think that it's time to just say it. It looks like the game is in a bad state it looks like it's not really getting much better. And as people seem to drop more and more out of this game, maybe it's time to find greener pastures. Maybe it's finally time that I will stop doing gotcha altogether and do something else. Hey, I can do something. Else. I don't know what that content is yet, but hey. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think uh, would have screwed? Do you think that EOS is in uh, end of service is in like two days, six months, nine years, 30 minutes? Let me know. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you later.